I think from now on, gravity should be called the universal sadness, because according to scientists, it brings everybody down. How's it going guys and welcome to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dumb Guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at, first things first, this here is the six-wheeled mountain racer. Really decent suspension on this thing, great for jumps, handles rough terrain really well. It's not the super super fastest, it does about 150 I think. Let's see here, 45, 150. As you can see, it just handles jumps really, really well. This is the kind of uh, vehicle you can take over this thing. With confidence. With confidence. Oh! Ooh. Oh, man. That was like you could just see it coming. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. It's all about having the right gas, the right velocity. You've got to hit it at the right speed. Just coast across. Ooh. Nice, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Ah! Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's, let's try it anyways. Let's try it anyways. Yeah, this has got the steering hinge in the middle, as you can see here, which allows for more stable wheels. Ooh, batter up. See that? You got really good suspension for jumps, things like this. You can just hold down the space bar, keep the thrust going, W's your engines, obviously. And it's really well balanced, so you can actually keep it level in the air. Lots of ground clearance. No real glitches or anything on this plot. Surprise, surprise. But fire. We have fired electricity. Got to light. Fire and electricity. Big jump. Big jump. Uh -oh. oh, big, big bounce. Big bounce. Backwards. Backwards. Oh. Uh, see if you can drive a vehicle through this thing. Still have it drivable on the other side. I don't know, man. Oh, I was backing up. Oh, there we go. Nice. Into the bowl. Holy. Okay, okay, fine. Mr. Gauntlet. Oh. So yeah, that's the Mountain Razor. I'll upload that if it's not there already. Let's see what else we got. All right, next on the docket, we have a cab over semi truck and trailer. Hard to see the color of it because it's all metallic, but it's black and orange. Very Halloween-y and a nice big flat deck back here. You can fit a decent sized vehicle on here. Of course, no ramp because, of course, the complexity limits at like 690. Go figure, eh? Yeah, so it starts connected, hit number one, and then Q right away, and Q lifts up your pin there in between, which triggers the sensor, which then lifts the legs on the trailer. Then you can drive away. Again, nothing super fast, it's pretty heavy. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of, well, you know the rest of it. So the trailer is detachable. Again, you don't have to get out of the cab. So you can stop like this. You hit E. Lower your pin. Come on. Lower the pin. Hello. 
lower the pin as soon as that sensor doesn't see anything there the trailer legs come down again and then you can drive away all on your own one thing I did find that was fun with this I have no idea what I'm gonna call this I'm probably just gonna upload it as cab over with flatbed so is once you reattach your trailer check this out should pop up if that sensor is functioning. Come on, function, function. There we go. So now we just find a, a nice flat spot. So we'll go around to the other side of the arena here. You see how the, hey, hey, how the trailer likes to drift like that? Here's a nice flat spot. So you can get this thing spinning in a circle, which is kind of fun. I thought this would be a good idea for Scrapman and, and the guys uh, do a demolition derby with semi trucks and trailers. So see, once you get this spinning in a circle, you get your trailer whipping around. Come on. There we go. Now you just gotta hold it. Oh, I lost the trailer. Oh, I snapped the pin on it. Yeah, I think it'd be hilarious to watch you guys driving around in semis like this. Trying to destroy each other. Do a battle bus episode. I mean, it gives Khan an advantage, but be surprised. Be surprised. So, yep, cab over trailer, semi truck. Oh, it's got no grill. See, I'll upload that as well. That was fun. The only problem again, the complexity limit only have so many parts, right? So, can't build it much bigger. As you can see, it's completely hollow inside. No seats, no nothing. <sighs> All right, what's next? So recently a comment, somebody asked if I could build the Tumblr, Batman's Tumblr. Now, I, th I believe the Tumblr closes up into like a motorcycle, which is a complete other build altogether. But this was my first attempt. It only took me a few hours. I thought I'd slap it together. I think it turned out pretty good. Looks kind of cool. Looks very Batman-y. Drives very Batman-y. Kind of cool. We've got a couple of thrusters in the back. We've got some slope pieces back here. We've got some nice angles. That's also where the weapons are hidden. There's four cannons inside there as well. we got the dual split wheels up here. The fake windshield. A couple of cosmetic pieces on there as well. And that new texture. Check out how it drives. We've got the two wheels, independent steering in the front. The space bar is your thrusters. Doesn't handle too bad for the bizarre steering in the front. It's also pretty decent for jumps. Not too shabby, eh? Gets decent air. Uh, no, that's not gonna end well. So yeah, Q. Opens up your guns. Hold down left shift. Basically take out anything in your path. Very Batman-y. batman -y. Is that even a word? It is now. Oh, oh ow. Ooh, that wasn't... That was ugly. Let's take this over the spinning gamma. This will cruise no problem. We can probably jump right into the water with this thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold together, hold together. It's actually a fairly strong build, so. One thing it's got going for it. Yeah, the Batman Tumblr. 
I'm going to be building another version as well that actually has the ability to fold up in half if I can. Ooh, rocks. Those things always come out of nowhere, right? They just jump out of nowhere. Damn rocks. Alright, let's try it. Tumbler, tumbler bucket. Tumbler bucket! Tumbler hoop. Hoop, hoop tumbler. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, oh, we gotta keep all our wheels, man. That helps. Always helps. Oh, oh! No, oh, that can't be. Yeah, not gonna happen. Man. Ow, ow, get out of there. Come on. First try. Yeah. Sure, buddy. gonna happen but you know what you know what yeah you bounce there so yeah tumblr i'll be uploading that i think if i i think i've already have but by the time you're watching this if you're playing trail makers go ahead and check it out it'll be there so i built this as a first experiment I call this a prototype basketball chucker it actually chucks the beach balls, right? So it's an actual ball that's gonna stay alive. So we'll try... Oh, again, this is the touchy part. The nice thing is you can only have three beach balls in here at one time. So we'll go like this, we'll load that in there and on the way back, we in space. And then we try and watch to see where the hell did it go. It didn't go anywhere. Apparently. Oh, it's over there. Okay, so let's try that again. Load it up. Fire! See, it's not bad. It, it goes. It's pretty close. Just gotta make sure you're lined up with the hoop. Also, a little bit of forward and the space. Wing! And I mean, you can see, look at that. You can just really wing it, man. So, the trick is... Right? And this is again where it requires some skill to shoot hoops and trail makers. You gotta be able to find your sweet spot. Oh, off the backboard? No such luck. Yeah, find that sweet spot in your launching capabilities with the vehicle that you build. This is just a prototype, but again, I was trying to build like, uh, you know, those toys where you have a scoop and the ball rolls out of it. Something like that to try and get that kind of elevation and control in the release. So something like that. Oh, behind it. Really? Really? Well, yeah, that's a good challenge. If you guys want to, if you're looking for something to build, uh, something unique, Try and build something like this. Try and build something that can actually use these hoops for basketball. And we can shoot some 21. We can play some b-ball outside of the school. All right, guys, we're going to leave that one here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And we will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.